Hey, let me show you some of the new features that we just added to Penpal in version 1.5. In the points tab, we've added these two mirror function buttons. They're really very similar to the same thing that it already exists in Adobe Illustrator, but they just save you having to go to Illustrator to make perfectly symmetrical shapes now. You can draw something like this in After Effects, and as long as it's an open path, you just select either the first or the last point, click one of those buttons, and it'll perfectly mirror it around that point and join it up at the other one to make a closed shape. Obviously perfect for butterflies or faces or anything that's symmetrical. Uh, we've changed the way that this toggle open close button works so it's a bit more intuitive now. On a closed path like this one is, you just select two points that are consecutive, click the button, and it'll be opened between those two points. If you want to close a path that's already open, it doesn't actually matter what you've got selected, you just click it and it'll close. And that's obviously a little bit quicker and easier to do as a whole than the native After Effects method. Over in the Tangents tab, we've added these uh, Move buttons, which are the same as the ones that were already in the Points tab, so that you can now accurately move tangents around. If I select these two like this, and I uh, click on the Up button, I'll hold Shift to make it work by 10 pixels rather than just one, you'll see that those tangents move upwards in a perfectly straight line. Obviously, that's going to break those tangents from the other ones that I didn't have selected. But if I want to bring those into line with the ones I've moved, I can just select them and then use Pen Pal's Smooth button, which is there. So that's it for the new features. We've also made some fixes for Windows users who were having some problems with their keyboard shortcuts. Uh, that should work fine now. So Control Z can be used even while you're working inside Pen Pal. That was already happening for Mac users, but Windows users were having some problems with that, and that's now fixed. That's everything I have for today. See you next time.